Hey, what's up? What's up, my brother? Thank you so much for tuning in to our channel once again. My name is James Katz and this is CGFX Uganda. Yes, we are looking at top-down analysis still, okay? And in particular today, we are going to look at BTC USD. During weekdays, actually, I do JBP USD only because I have confidence in it. I know how it performs. The common, you know, chart patterns that it performs i know whenever it, it 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 acts choppy i don't trade that's me now let's get into our video and critically analyze the market and see how to go around top down analysis remember top down analysis involves looking at the market from the highest time frame to the lowest time frame and of course we use so many things like trend lines demand and supply zones and also look at the nature of the candles remember the nature of the candle tells you what is happening in the lower time frames okay and then the other thing is the nature of the candles on the lower time frame has to tell you exactly what is on the higher time frame okay so before we go into the market allow me remind you to subscribe to our channel please and hit the notification button so that whenever we upload a video you're in position to be notified okay and of course if you find value in this video don't hesitate to hit that like button so that it is suggested to more friends like you are seeking knowledge in forex let's bump into the video without further ado as always we start with a weekly time frame as as you can see right here on our btc usd we are on a weekly time frame and we can see it's in a an uptrend so if i uh, mark out that if i draw my trend line right there very smooth very very smooth you have to draw smooth trend lines so that they touch they have some touches of the market onto it so now after drawing that trend line we can go further and see that we are we have uh, some demand zone right there considering that swing law right there it's a demand it's a demand zone right there if i stretch it of course that's where it touches now in in in, in more information we shall be looking at what we call smart money concept and order blocks now this one it is an order block right here it is an order block right there so now that is our demand zone i can name it as weekly demand zone weekly demand zone right there and i can say that so now the nature of the candle remember today is saturday and we are probably looking at how btc performed throughout the week throughout the week we can see that we have our bearish candle right there and this represents literally a bearish a bearish trend so it has been bearish that's what we know now because we can see that the the candle right there it has been it is bearish and the market has been truly bearish so i have also that trend line right there that this candle respected this one right here it respected all this so that's a clear move that we are moving down so let's move to uh, a daily time frame so on a weekly time frame we have marked out our demand zone right there and of course we've looked at the nature of the candle it's bearish and we have marked out uh, some trend line right there that the market has respected this one right there and of course we are seeing a breakthrough here but still the market is playing within the demand the weekly demand zone so what we are waiting to see is is it the market going to move up or it is going to break through and move down let's continue analyzing and we shall come up with a clear answer to that okay before we continue you can also see that the market is forming something like a rectangle pattern or you can call it a flag pattern right there it is there so when you are analyzing you look out for such things to see that the market is truly respecting them so once we move to a daily time frame yeah we can see that indeed we have this rectangle pattern 
or a flag pattern you can call it whatever you call it but it is right there and of course it has respected the trend line still uh, and the demand zone right there so we are we are having that market moving um in this manner like that so it is just there ranging now we have this small this small rectangle pattern right there we have that small rectangle pattern right there what does it represent it represents a trend a trend and it's a mixture of bullish and bearish candles it means that on a lower time frame this market is truly ranging so you have to look out for that and we see that whether it's truly ranging so as i said before you move down you have to critically look at the market and see how it's performing you can see btc is very good at forming these patterns here okay, you can see we have ascending triangle right there so after that the market moved down okay so you look out for such okay you just look out for such it's very good at uh forming those chart, chart patterns right there because and now if you look out for those chart patterns you will probably be in position to know how you're going to trade and which kind of trade you're going to participate in so let's move to uh, a lower time frame here on a daily time frame the nature of the candles are uh, it's a mixture it's a mixture however here you have to know that each candle represents a day so when we move to four hour time frame we can see that indeed the market is ranging are you seeing here the market is ranging 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 right there it's ranging and you can see that it also formed this uh, rectangle pattern before it moved down so you have to be observant so that you can always spot out such because this gives you a confirmation that the market is continuing down and since we have a bearish uh, candle on a weekly showing that we are moving down so we expect this market after this 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 ranging market to break through and move and continues down otherwise if it moves up it's okay because still we up the market is playing within uh, the weekly demand zone right there okay so now let's continue to move down to one hour time frame and we see how btc is really playing out okay so moving to one hour one hour here each candle represents one hour okay and we can see that indeed the market is okay the market is ranging you can see the market is ranging right there yeah and it's doing great the market is really ranging so from there we can see that also these patterns are respected are you seeing the patterns are truly respected now here on one hour if i'm to consider the fact that since we are on a weekly demand zone where the market is playing from so if in any case uh the market moves up it is going to we it is going to reach here and then it moves down how do we determine that using fibonacci uh on a hundred percent if we stretch our fibonacci tool to the lowest point right there we shall have this particular part uh of premium and then discount remember we sell or we go short in premium and we go long or we buy in discount so setting your fibonacci at a hundred percent as you can see here okay you will know that premium happens in a 50 percent and also discount happens in a 50 percent so whenever the market is within the discount always look out for uh possible longs okay that's you consider the high high the highest high high and then the lowest lower high low that is if you are in an uptrend or the high high and then the lower low when you're on a downward trend so we have that we have seen that so if the market moves up probably we shall be looking out this shall be looking out for this order block right here and then we shall 
go short right in that area that's where we shall book for our short right there like that if we are to book for a short on one hour time frame and then we shall take our profit right there but now since the market is ranging and it will probably take long before it reaches uh, this particular premium of one hour then what we have to do is to move down to a lower time frame and we see basically how this market is uh, playing out on lower time frame so here we we are going on 15 minutes time frame that's that's where oh uh, that's where I always do my final analysis. Okay, that's where I do always do my final analysis. Now, in this trend that we are having here, the ranging the ranging market we are having here on BTC right now, as we can see that it is ranging. Okay, like I said, it is ranging. You can see it is ranging. It's a ranging market. So, what are we expecting? How are we going to place our our order okay now this is what we're going to do uh, we're going to first of all uh, look for our Fibonacci tool we spot out we spot out uh, we're going to spot out our latest high high and then stretch it to the lowest point you will ask that why did I choose that and why did I choose this and I didn't choose this. You can see that this this one is lower than this. So you have to take uh, a point that is higher. Okay. You have to take a point that is higher. And then you have to take a lowest, the lowest point. Okay. You don't take this but you take this so that's what's up so now moving on after you marking out that and knowing that now the market is in the market is in discount and we always book for shorts or longs rather we book for shorts in premium zone this being our premium zone this being our discount zone so here we go we look for support zone by marking out the order blocks we have this order block right there that has been respected okay it has been respected right from here here and here okay it has been so much respected so this is our support zone okay so we are expecting the market to come and reach in this area and then it bounces back yeah why because in this particular area we have so many confirmations first of all we have this supply zone here okay we have this supply zone and we also have our trend line right here the weekly we have this trend line here okay and then we also have our weekly trend line still this one this is a weekly trend line if you remember so we are very sure that once the market reaches this area here it's going to move down otherwise if it breaks through then that is another case you don't chase it you set up another setup so if I try to use the Fibonacci right in this onto this one, yes, I'll still see that the market is really going to be it's most likely to be respected in this area because it has to move and then move down. That those are my confirmations. Okay, confirmation number one. I have supplies on there, I have my weekly trend line. Okay, and my Fibonacci tells me that we are in a discount zone and we are heading to the premium zone. Okay, and then the other thing, the market is ranging. So, 
The other thing that you can truly observe, BTC is good at forming a W or inverted W pattern. How? Let me show you. It moved down, it went up, it came down, and then it continued there. Okay, when you look at this, moved down, moved up, down, continued. Okay, we also have this down, tap, tap, continued. You see? It's very good at forming that. Da, 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 da. Continued. You see? So, what is that? what's going to happen here? Mm -hmm. You see? So, we are expecting it to come and hit this area. And then, it moves back. So, very sure you can see that. Okay? So, not seeing that. Then, we can bring our short position. And we book for a shot right there and then uh, wait to see how the market is going to perform in a wrong run okay because we don't chase the market but we sit and wait for the market to play its magic you understand so that's what's up now remember this content is for cgfx uganda you can also follow us on instagram to be at cgfx uganda okay so that has been our top down analysis if you have any question yes please feel free to post it in the comment section and of course if you found value in this video hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe Yes, we meet in another pair as always as we do top down analysis. Okay, if you want one on one, because here we always have limited time, you can always, you know, email me at jamescatsfavor at gmail.com. Anyways, thank you so much.